Here we go guys, Schofields, Riverston and surrounding suburbs get ready for this week's LJ Hooker Market Wrap, a Sunday special, we're live, it's been an exciting week for the team, we've got a bit of a different market wrap planned, we're going to go through the highest sale prices in Schofields and Riverston and a special bonus, we're going to go through my analysis of the new suburb name changes, I've had the request, I've put, taken it on board, it's going to be a bit controversial but we definitely want to get through it, just my personal opinion of course. So let's get through it. The highest sell prices this week in Riverston, 935,000 on Gentry Street, four bedroom, double story, really great price. Good to see Riverston getting, achieving over 900,000. In Schofields, the highest sell price was on Dagara Street, Schofields, near Boundary Road, just behind the Talawong for one million flat. So a really great result there. And um, yeah, I'm really curious. If you have any questions during the video, please do send it in or want to send me a private message. Let's get to the suburb name changes. We all got the letters in the post. We know the boundaries have changed. Um, I don't feel there's anyone that's sort of lost from it in a sense. The, um, obviously, some of the names might sound a bit funny. It's sort of um, when you've grown up in an area like Schofields or Riverston and the names have changed, it's taken a bit away from the identity. But I can sort of see now after analyzing a bit more detail to some extent why they've got the um, plan for it. So um, I'll get through, let's start. Actually, have you noticed ch name changes before? Have you seen them? I'll put out a poll, um, feel free to comment as well. Do you remember that Acacia Gardens used to be Quakers Hill? Um, for some of those that know, Beaumont Hills used to be Kellyville. And um, earlier on, probably more recent one, Kellyville Ridge used to be Kellyville. So we've seen suburb name changes before. Um, not that common though, to an extent. Not like this, where you've got a stack of them. So I'll go through, I'll start off with Talawong and parts of Rouse Hill. So I'll jump here. Hopefully you guys can see this pretty well, the Talawong map. If you need a link to all the maps, do send me a message as well. The Talawong shape of the suburb is a little bit different. Talawong station's here. The whole suburb sticks out here. Um, there's a few reasons for it. So when council originally proposed this name as RAN, um, a few of my like, past purchases, we all went to council and protested. And we also argued that this land here was an original Rass Hill. Um, huge amount of history there. So that's why it's sort of got that shape. What's planned here next to the metro, there will be shops, really nice football fields. It will take a while for the football fields to come in. Um, we've also got the pink, which is single story, double story homes, R2 zoning. As it follows Schofields Road, we've seen the units get built up on Boundary Road already. As you head towards Rass Hill, there'll be a new primary school. As you get closer, there'll be the hospital, and then Rass Hill Town Centre will expand. So I do feel this was, um, yeah, as I feel for all the suburbs going through in detail, um, no one's going to be losing here. I do feel it's got a mix. What I look for is a range of colours. Shows you a bit of parks shops, more homes, and I feel as this area gets more and more developed, we've all seen the roadworks, Boundary Road, one day I'll finish getting there, which will be quite nice and complete. Rass Hill was an interesting one. For those who don't know, the original Rass family lived on the Blacktown Council side of Rass Hill. Um, even though the name changes was to make the suburb smaller, Rass Hill actually expanded into Riverston. So this part of Riverston is now renamed Rass Hill. I do think it's a pocket to watch out for, obviously very deliberate expanding Rass Hill. It's almost doubled. So the Blacktown part of Rass Hill is that almost doubled there. So I think there's gonna be quite interesting um, more items to come up in the future once they've rezoned that pocket there. Um, jumping through next, I'll go on to Grantham Farm. Um, I've had a few neighbors in the area sort of say, you know, the word farm, what, is that a good thing? Is it a positive, a bit mindful of it? I do feel after, a, say six to 12 months, I, that pocket will have a new identity. Um, with the cutting up, so from Hamilton Street heading towards Box Hill, while there isn't any major parks or shops, um, there is that small little park, um, like shops as well, that's built already in Grantham Estate. But um, I do feel it's going to give a very um, different energy, like all new homes there. I do think it's a positive. Over time, the name, I think we'll, like, I don't think it's a big issue for having Grantham Farm. I actually think it's quite good. Um, you've got farm, you've got fields, you've got Marsden Park, so there's all different um, flavors attached to the name changes. But I do like this pocket because it's gonna be all new homes. And I don't think it's a disadvantage to the part of Riverston already established because you've got shops there, you've got schools, and you've got the train station. So I do think this will get it, take a bit of time to settle in. You don't just wake up one morning, Grantham Farm, I'm in a new area. It will build its identity, same as what happened in the ponds. 
But um, yeah, I do like this pocket as well. Jumping through to Riverston. Um, yeah, Riverston wasn't a huge, huge change besides losing um, like part of the name changes there. We've already got the shops established, the train station, big plans in the future for Riverston in the long term. The good thing with this pocket, there were already parks established there. With Schofield, so a bit of a change. There's a section of Schofields, um, before Schofields Road opened up, we used to cut through like Grange Avenue, um, a lot of rural area that will in the future be rezoned. This pocket here was part of Riverston, now it's extended, Schofields has extended it. This section here, guys, really look out for it. There's gonna be a lot of plans for football fields in the future. Basically, I read some documents a couple years ago where they said, they sort of acknowledged that they didn't do enough parks in certain sections of Riverston and Schofields. So to make up for it, they're gonna have a huge amount here and also in this pocket known as West Schofields. So um, I really think in the future, this will be a hot spot, probably take about five to 10 years. Um, let's see what's next. Marsden Park, Malomba. These areas will always do well. It's so close. There's, we all know about the future Marsden Park Station. Eventually will happen. And um, the shops, the retail there, the commercial, a lot of really nice homes, young families. It's done really well, like Alara, for example very highly sought after the schools coming up so uh, yeah I'll skip through there um, Richards if you've seen that special section there named after the Meatworks owner um, mainly commercial and in light industrial there um, so not no pink there which means no single story double story homes is more of a commercial space which is already established but um, I'll finish last in the Roomba fields I'm really excited for this pocket here it's got um, the um, shops more parks, recreation coming up, which those who know this area is Acuna Vista. Um, I feel in the long term, that bit of scope to really um, sort of get closer to the pond sort of pricing there because it's got the train station, the shops, the parks. I really do like this pocket. Obviously, Schofield's too, shops on both sides, Schofield's village getting built up next to the Woolworths. But um, yeah, guys, that's sort of my analysis. Um, I do feel it's very, overall, the Northwest is doing really strong. Um, keeping in mind, no one knows the future. So for example, um, no one really like, it. as an agent, you don't really predict 2018, 19, there was a drop. Um, 2015, December quarter, I do remember the prices dipped back then. And I didn't, I definitely did not predict Corona <laughs> early this year, lockdown, all those sort of items there. So no one knows the future. I think the only thing certain is that there is always uncertainty and risk involved in real estate. And please do not take this as any financial advice, obviously you to do your own due diligence. But um, overall, very confident with the Northwest. The reason is we've had really good inquiries from buyers. The volume of sales compared to early this year, last year, to this year, I do feel it's picking up in a sense of more transactions. So I've seen that change over the years. So it's been really good. But um, yeah, that's sort of my analysis on the suburb name changes. If you have any more questions, please do reach out. Overall, I don't think anyone's dropping from it. And I do feel there's um, some good merits overall. Um, it was obviously a bit of uh, political too, adding in like say Angus after, um, former council member but um, yeah I'm very excited for what's come to come actually printing out the maps going through seeing the future plans for the areas very pumped for it so if you have any questions or want to market an appraisal on your home please do reach out if you want to know where the names came from or any of the history don't feel free to send me a message other than that Schofields Riverston have a great weekend I'm out for this week cheers